Saints, this is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it, amen. This is the gospel movement, yo. Jesus Christ movement. Spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ in its entirety without compromise. I have another blessed, fresh, holy, spirit, fair word. Cover my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, amen. Very powerful message. Once again, we must take heed to all these end time gospel messages. Come from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Our eternal destination depends on it. God is saying a lot to us in this final hour. Title message is very powerful. It's uh, only the Holy Spirit can give us a clear understanding of who God is to us, how he wants to work through us, what he did for us, and where he is going to take us. Only the, the Holy Spirit can give us a clear understanding of who God is to us, how he wants to work through us, what he did for us, and where he is going to take us. Only the Holy Spirit can give us that clear understanding. It doesn't come by degrees. It doesn't come by how many times we go to church. It doesn't come by if we go listen to a certain big name preacher or, or minister. It doesn't come by if we research only comes through the Holy Spirit. Only way we can have the Holy Spirit on the inside of us is to allow Him, when He touches our heart, for, uh, allow Him to uh, give us that heart of repentance and receiving Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. Um, having that heart of repentance towards our sin nature, um, looking to Christ on the daily. That's the only way we can have the Holy Spirit on the inside of us is through Christ. Because the Holy Spirit is. One and the same as Jesus Christ, as God, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. So let's go to St. John, um, St. John 14, 23 through 27. Jesus answered and said unto him, If a man love me, he will keep my words, and my father will love him, and he will come unto him, and we will, and we will come unto him and make our abode with him. He that loveth me not, keepeth not my sayings, and the word which you hear is not mine, but the Father's which sent me. These things I have spoken unto you, being yet present with you. Watch this. But the Comforter, Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you what? All things. And bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth, giveth I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. So, we see clearly here that Christ is letting us know that the, the Comforter, the Holy Ghost, who the Father will send in his name, which lives on the inside of us, who have received Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior with heart of repentance um, toward our sin nature, teaches us all things. All things. All things about what? All things that's, that pertain to, 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 to uh, who, who uh, God is to us, how he wants to work through us, what he did for us, and where he is going to take us. All things can pertain to that. Um, it lets us know that. God is the one and only true living God. Who is our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And who he is to us. Is he is our. Um, everything. He is our provider. He is our comforter. He is our healer. He was our teacher. He is our encourager. He is our empower, empowerment. He is our forgiveness. He is our love. He is our strength. And how he wants to work through us. He wants to work through us in a sense of us um, going out and spreading this gospel in its entirety. This is not about speaking in tongues. This is not about prophesying. It's not about none of the spiritual gifts. He wants to work through us in, that, in the capacity of us being examples of him. And those spiritual gifts come as, 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 as the Lord sees fit to wherever we want to give them to. But... That's how he wants to work through us. Um, and what he did for us. What he did for us. We know whoever have received Jesus Christ as Lord Savior with heart repentance towards his earthly nature knows that he died on the cross for us. He died. He took our place. He came as God in the flesh and died for us and rose from the dead so he could be justified in his presence at the judgment. Um, where he is going to take us. Where God is going to take us, we only can know this through the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit tells us that heaven is our home. Holy Spirit tells us that our eternal destination is in his 
in God's holy eternal kingdom at the judgment. That's where he is going to take us. That's where he wants to take us. It has nothing to do with what we see here. So let's don't let's not get it twisted. This is a spiritual thing that 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 this is a spiritual life. You feel me? We're living a spiritual life. Um we look to stuff here and think that it's about stuff here. The devil is a liar. That's what he wants us to think. Because when we think that, when it, when Antichrist comes into power, many people are going to choose the mark, which is choosing self in this wicked world system over God because of looking at stuff here. See, this is a spiritual thing. This is this is what we got to understand what this is about. So, let's get this harsh mind spirit. Only the Holy Spirit can give us a clear understanding of who God is to us, how he wants to work through us, what he did for us, and where he is going to take us. Let's go to 1 Corinthians 2, 9 through 16. 1 Corinthians 2, 9 through 16. This is very powerful. Praise God. You guys be empowered and encouraged in Jesus Christ my name on today. I love you all with the love of Christ. Okay. But as it is written, I have not seen nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man. See? The heart of man. Our flesh. The things which God have prepared for them that love him. What things? A car, a house, a job, a wife, a, a, a husband, children, money. The things he's talking about is the spiritual things. That's why I have not seen, nor ear heard, nor have entered to the heart of man. See, the heart of man don't can't understand the spiritual things that God has prepared for those of us who love him. Only the spirit man can. The Holy Spirit can teach us this. Watch this. But God has revealed them unto us by what? His Spirit. Holy Spirit. For the Spirit searches all things, yea, the deep things of God. See, the Holy Spirit searches the deep things of God. For what man knoweth the things of man, save the Spirit of man which is in him? Even so, the things of God knoweth no man but the Spirit of God. See, the Holy Spirit. Now, we have received not the Spirit of the world, but the Spirit which is of God. We have received the Holy Spirit when we have a heart of... When we receive Jesus Christ in our hearts of our Lord and say with the heart of repentance toward our sin nature, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God. The things he's talking about, the spiritual things. See, the, the, the false prophets and ministries have placed it in our, our minds, these new age churches, that it's about stuff here. Why would we need the Holy Spirit to tell us about stuff here? The devil can give us that. Open, we got to open our eyes here. The devil can give us that. So we need the Holy Spirit to tell us what the spiritual things that God has prepared for us. The things that where he wants us to go, what he wants us to do for us, great name, sake, how he wants to use us. We need the Holy Spirit to teach us how to operate in the spirit realm. How to operate in God's will and his way and his word. How to be examples of Christ. How to carry out God's perfect will for our life. Which things also we speak not in the words which man's wisdom teaches, but which the Holy Ghost teaches. See? Comparing spiritual things with spiritual. But the natural man receiving not the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness unto him, neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. See, natural man can't understand it. Our flesh will never grasp it. That's why we need the Holy Spirit. But he that is spiritual judges all things, yet he himself is judged of no man. Talking about the Holy Spirit. When it says he that is spiritual is talking about the Holy Spirit. Not a person. A so spiritual person that's judged of no man. It's talking about the Holy Spirit can't be judged of no man. For who have known the mind of the Lord that he may instruct him? But we have what? The mind of Christ. So we have the mind of Christ through the Holy Spirit, y'all. So only the Holy Spirit can give us a clear understanding of who God is to us. How he wants to work through us. What he did for us. And where he's going to take us. Praise God. So let's go to 1 John 2, 25-29 real quickly. It says... And this is the promise that he hath promised us even eternal life in Jesus Christ, through Jesus Christ, by the mercy and grace. These things have I written unto you concerning them that seduce you, but the anointing which ye have received of him abideth in you. Talking about the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the anointing who lives inside of, inside of us. And ye need not that any man teach you. But at the same as the same anointing, the Holy Spirit teaches you of all things. And is truth, and is no lie, and even as it hath taught you, you shall abide in him. We shall live in him. We shall live in Christ. Through the Holy Spirit. And now, little children, abide in him that when he shall appear, we may have confidence and not be ashamed before him at his coming. See, 
We have to live in Christ. So it won't be ashamed that it's coming. When it's saying ashamed that it's coming, those who's going to be ashamed that it's coming who are who are not his, they wouldn't would have taken the mark. So they're going to be ashamed that it's coming. If ye know that he is righteous, ye know that everyone that doeth righteousness is born of him. And not, this is not talking about good deeds. When it says do of righteousness, do of righteousness is, is meaning being Holy Spirit led, not fleshly driven. It's not talking about church tradition. It's not talking about fair to sick tradition of men in the way church. It's not talking about paying tithes and offering. That's doing righteousness. Yeah, we should be obedient to God. And if God is leading us, the Holy Spirit leads us to pay, give, give up, give to 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 God's work, give to his ministry, give to him. We we must do that. But this is not talking about just the act of paying tithes and offering or going to church or preaching God's word or doing good deeds or whatever the case, or speaking in tongues or whatever it is. When it's talking about doing righteous, it's talking about being Holy Spirit led, not fleshly driven, having a heart of repentance to our sin nature on a daily, looking to Christ as the one who is true living God. That's what it's talking about, doing righteousness. So let's get into the heart of my spirit. Only the Holy Spirit can give us a clear understanding of who God is to us. How he wants to work through us, what he did for us, and where he's going to take us. And the only way we can, um, only way we can operate in this, we let the how allow the Holy Spirit to lead, because all the Holy Spirit can only give us a clear understanding. If we're not allowing the Holy Spirit to lead us on a daily and we're flesh driven, then we won't grasp the fullness of who God is in our life, who Jesus Christ is, who is God. We won't we won't be able to grasp grasp that. In ourselves, no amount of research is going to help you. No amount of church service is going to help you. How many times you speak in tongue, that's not going to help you. What's going to help us is when we fully submit in humility, saying, "Create in me a clean heart, renew a right spirit within in me." Let the words of my mouth, the meditation of my heart, be accepted on your side, Christ Jesus, my strength, my redeemer. Asking God to help us, allowing His Holy Spirit to lead. That's the only way we can make it through, y'all. In these end times. We are all amazing inside of Christ. He loves you. He never leaves nor forsake you. I love you all in Jesus Christ's mighty name. This is the gospel movement, yo. Jesus Christ movement. Spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ in its entirety without compromise. I love you deeply with the, with the love of Christ. God bless you.